All right, we are back in Redmond, right where we just were for the uh, other two calls we just did. And I think this is our car right here. Let's check it out and make sure. All right, that is our car, and it is a front-wheel drive car that does run and everything just fine. I guess the uh, little throttle pedal sensor went out. So it starts and runs and everything just fine. I actually put it in reverse to back up. But it starts and runs just fine. It just doesn't rev up because you can't give it any throttle. So since it's front wheel drive and it's nosed in right here and we do have the keys and it does run, I'm going to pull the truck up right here. Start up the car. Hopefully it's got enough to back up the road right here behind my truck and I can turn it around, hook it from the front. We don't have to use dollies. And then we can also load up over here off to the side and not block in this driveway. So that'll be nice if it works. Might as well put the crossbar out and down while we're waiting and we can just drive the car right up onto it. All right, so we do have the keys. Start this thing up. Screw towing, I'm gonna drive this thing back to their house. But that actually makes it real easy to back it up here. Wow, yeah, it works just fine. Just like everything, all you gotta do to fix it is turn it off and back on again. Okay, so let's flip you around. And we're just gonna drive right up onto the wheel lift see how centered and crooked I can get all right I'm a whole lot better at getting crooked than I am at getting centered so let's see how we did oh look at that ah little difference close enough just scoot this one in a little bit there you go Tighten this up some, we'll grab our arms, see if we can do it one-handed, probably not. There's one. See if we can do. There's two. See how well it picks up. We're gonna miss the oil pan. Not by a whole lot, so I should probably double pick it. Yeah, to double pick it to be safe. So what I'm gonna do here, put that block under the tire, take this block. It's over there under the other tire. Now I'm going to set the parking brake so it doesn't move. Hopefully the parking brake works. And then we set this down on the block. We can move this out farther. Then we can tighten this in. Even more. Do the same on the other side. Let's see if this wants to latch right here. There it is. Now we pick it back up. Tilt first. And look how much more room we have now. Lenny. That's because by putting it on these blocks and setting it back down allowed us to enclose those even tighter, which makes the car sit up higher in the wheel grid. It gives us more clearance for the oil pan. That's why I have these blocks. And then because it's a front wheel drive car, all we got to do is strap down the front wheels and uh, the back will roll. 
if we release the parking brake, of course. That's an important thing not to forget. We put this here. There's a little hole on the side right here it hooks into. A couple cranks. Stick the tail. Fold the slack right through there. Okay, the next step. Oh, we gotta release the parking brake. That's the next step. I'm pretty sure I just said I shouldn't forget that and then I forgot it. Next step is pull the car in where we're gonna tow it. Get our soft swings. Try not to block the camera. And how I like to do it is wrap a soft sling around the control arm and choke the choke the actual top bar and then hook my safety chain to that and what that does there we go so by using the soft sling there's no chain running over the control arms or hitting anything up here to leave scuffs and scratches since we're in snow country where it gets wet and all that and we don't want anywhere it can start rusting i don't care if it's an old piece of shit or a brand new car we treat them the same then hook the chains to this no metal ever touches a customer's car and by choking around the control arm and the crossbar some people say it's wrong I don't care um, I think it's much better because if this car tries to come off this obviously pulls tight and it tightens the car to the wheel lift so I think that's about as secure as it gets we're gonna do the same thing to the other side okay got the other one on both sides are done and since we're turned a little bit, I made this one tighter and that one looser so that when we straighten out, this one loosens up, that one tightens up. And if I know what I'm doing, they'll be fairly even, but I don't know what I'm doing, so they're gonna be crooked. All right, we turn our light bar on. Stick it on the trunk. And we're ready to go down the road. Well, Ready to go other than the whole gotta wash my hands thing because I did all that without gloves so that I could work the camera and show you all you guys what I was doing. I got these hand cleaner wipe things. They work amazing. There's no way they are good for you with how good they work. But all good now. Let's uh, go drop this thing off. Okay, we need to go that way but this is a super steep driveway that does that and I don't wanna drag the back of this car or hit the front bumper, so we're gonna go, you see how close it gets when it dips down there. But we're gonna go this way and then go find somewhere to turn around in this other parking lot that's not so steep to go that way. Like I said, I don't wanna drag the back bumper of their car on that big hump there. And I do have inside controls in this truck, so if I leave the safety chains off, I can work the car up and down to get more clearance in the front and more clearance in the back and extend it way out so it doesn't hit the truck when I turn sharp and everything. But that works if the safety chains are off and I already put them on, so just went this way, it was easier. There's the driveway with that sharp turn and it doesn't look anywhere near as steep in this camera, but trust me, it's like a big hump there. Or don't trust me, whatever, it's fine. So now we are getting back on the highway to Bend for like the third time today. About another 30 minutes back, we're taking this car right back to the people's house and they'll probably be really happy to hear that it runs just fine. But probably something they should still get fixed. Guess what? It's another roundabout. And guess what else? Yeah, another roundabout. Okay, only about 18 roundabouts later, and we should be pulling up right here on the left-hand side, it looks like. All right, now we're just gonna do the opposite of what we did to load it up. We're gonna set it down a ways, then throw the blocks under it. Set it 
down on the blocks. Okay. I didn't set the parking brake, so let's make sure it stays. And we can pull these out. Actually, we're gonna do not quite exactly the opposite because this one runs and drives, so I'm just gonna pull this out and back off the blocks. That is that. Okay, that's it for this car. It is dropped off right there. And we are going to now try to find our way out of this maze. See if we can head towards home probably and see if I can try to call it a day. I know I keep saying that, but then the phone keeps ringing. But this time I'm really gonna try to do that. So as of now, this is it and I will see you guys next time.